Hello my Sock Universe, we are looking at part 2 of the 2019-20 Europa League jerseys. We are looking at group B, uh, quite an interesting diverse group, um, you know none of the big nations but that is what makes the Europa League very interesting. I decided to wear my new Ukraine jersey for the simple reason that yeah, um, Dynamo Kiev is in there and to be honest Dynamo Kiev in many ways is, I know Shakhtar fans will not hate me, it's, it's the Ukrainian team. Uh, and for most, most of the history, the Ukrainian national team uh, was very much given by Dynamo Kiev. Yes, with the rise of Shakhtar that changed a lot. But yeah, seems to be the best and it's also kind of the colors in there. And we'll start right away with Dynamo Kiev who are supplied by uh, New Balance, who put out... Uh, last year they had really great looking... Um, they had all kind of this red look. This year the home jersey, I have to say, is has a more modern look to it, but I'm not sure if that's better. I have not seen them wear uh, a sponsor, many sponsors. It's mostly this exactly this white kit with the blue collar. I'm, what I'm not so sold is, is the... Um, uh, lower portion of the sleeves being blue and then the taping here uh, you see the yellow it's uh, morphs into Ukrainian flag <sighs> I rather would see the sleeves a little bit the blue on the sleeves a little bit reduced um, other than that the kit is fine uh, it just doesn't excite me much and I think for that reason I only give it six stars uh, the away kit is a little bit more exciting, a little bit, because uh, if you look at it, um, it has the two blue tones. We have the uh, darker blue and then a light blue, and then there's also some pin striping, uh, pin shadow striping in there, uh, depending on how the light falls. Uh, that, I think, is an interesting look, and also here the Ukrainian flag uh, trim on the sleeves looks a little bit better. Um, is it the greatest away jersey? No. I mean, last year's was wonderful. I gave it 10 stars. This one, um, I think, hits me more with the colors. Uh, it's a little bit, it makes a little bit more sense. I'm not so sure about the two-tone uh, blue. That's maybe the only downside of that one. If it is a two-tone blue, it might be just a shadow here. I um, have to see, but I, I, it looks to be a two-tone blue. If I look at this, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a two-tone blue uh, thingy. A little bit more exciting. It's not the greatest kit, but I think um, I like it from the colors and for that uh, seven stars. Let's go to Copenhagen. Uh, who... I mean, that's, yeah. How about what you say? It's a pure white kit with the crest uh, put on. That is nice. It makes sense. You don't even see the uh, three stripes on there. They are almost tone in tone. So, I mean, that's a nice uh, look. It's very plain, um, which is not a bad thing. Would I wish that there's a little bit more blue on there? Maybe. But, you know, on the other side, it's as simple as it gets. And, uh, that's not that bad either. Uh, I think I started too high with the Dynamo Kiev home home kit. So, but yeah, I'm actually thinking I want to give this, you know, with the Carlsberg sponsor, I want to give this uh, seven stars just for the daringness of it being so bland. The away kit uses an Adidas template that we know very well from um, this past season, we will, and we'll see it all around here. That have this, we 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 saw it at the Women's World Cup. We have this whooshy, swirly pattern now in black and dark blue, um, monochromatic crest. I think you could have made the flag. Uh, the Danish flag and not uh, almost a Finnish flag. I think that could have been better. Other than that, I think it's all right, uh, but it leaves me a little bit cold. I think it's uh, the contrasts are al almost too strong with with the crest. I mean, this is what you want, but um, yeah, too templatey. Five stars on that one. Uh, the Malmö home kit, though, that one I like. What I don't there's one thing I don't like. That's the it has this uh, problem that the Serbia and Senegal kids had that the form strap is kind of cut through this uh, very extreme raglan uh, sleeve cut. It's also a very unique jersey in the sense that this is the only Puma jersey that I've seen so far that has actually a short collar. 
uh, a fold over collar. All the others have either the V or the round neck. Uh, so that's very, very unique here. Uh, of course, you will not have the Tic Tac sponsor in the Europa League, but uh, Volkswagen, of course, is there. Um, note also, this is the third jersey where we have two stars over the crest. I actually really like this one. Um, even going so far, I mean the the form strap here that's that bothers me, but every everything else is pretty close to perfect. And I'm gonna give this an eight stars. Uh, the away jersey, I should like it a lot. I mean these are my colors: the dark blue and then the light blue. This is a contrast that works, but it just doesn't seem to gel here quite some. Uh, I actually like the home jersey better. Uh, the Volkswagen logo, and I'm not sure if they've updated it now on the new one. Uh, I will post a picture if there's a new one. There's a new, but this is still the old logo, although I think it fits very well with the color scheme. Uh, <laughs> I do like it in principle, but it just this uh, this cut here on the shoulders uh, kind of uh, weirds me out. Um, and also that the color is just there it, it has no other color when the sleeve cuffs are actually in an, in another color so a little bit inconsistent of that and for that reason um gonna give this yeah I'm gonna say six stars there's just some things not quite connecting they also have a third jersey which is basically uh replacing the color of the a weight jersey with a dark red tone. Looks West Hamish. It's not a bad thing, but it's also not uh, the greatest. I think I, to be honest, and I, it's almost the same to me as the a weight jersey. And I really like dark blue jersey, but there's something not the connecting here. I'm also gonna give this. Um, now I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this five stars. But it's not bad. It's, it's basically the same, same choice just because it's not really a club color. But you know, it also gets the job done as a contrast. But uh, let's stick with the five stars. And then one team that's completely different is Lugano. Uh, also, uh, the supplier at Service is one that we have not seen so far. It is the classic Lugano kit in black with the, uh, black with the white chevron. So uh, uh, kudos for that. Then uh, there is a shadows chevron below. This is what Bordeaux is doing as of late. And then there are some specks here in white, which kind of make it weird. Now here is the plain version. In league play, it of course looks a lot more busy. There are two sponsors. Uh, then there's a Raiffeisen sponsor and so on. Uh, that one looks messy. In the Europa League, as far as I saw, they only have the Casino Lugano sponsor and everything else is taken out. Is it a bad kit? Uh, no, is it trying too much? Probably. Um, and for that reason, I actually have to say there's something to be said about the sponsored version where there's uh, coming some red in. I mean, the sponsors are really nicely put that they don't add too much colors. It's just a little bit too much on there. Um, so that actually is a kit that gets better with the sponsors. Honestly, I don't believe I'm saying this. Uh, but overall, yeah, it's a little bit too over-designed with the specs, like the France away kit. For that, I'm going to give this five stars. The away kit, earthy colors and more colors in there. That's a mess. <sighs> Why? 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 Yeah, actually, it's a third kit, but, you know, let's do a third and then the away kit. Um, doesn't make much sense to me. I give this uh, three stars. Actually, drop, drop the list. It's it's just two stars. The away kit is a reverse of the home kit, except that they leave out the specs um, on the torso, which actually looks nice uh, and makes it a little bit better looking. And I actually think that the black chevron on the white looks a little bit better than the other way around. Yeah, I'm gonna give this. Now let's give this also five stars. Well, that concludes Group B. Let me know which kits you liked in this one, which ones you didn't, whether you, you agree with my um, ratings or not. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, especially parts 3 to 12. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. 
Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you.